welcome back everybody uh, today I'm going to be showing where I put my third location this is the th and I almost always build here why because it is a great location to get star metal on top of star metal there's plenty of iron ore in this area as well now uh, we are up here in the C11 range uh, as you can see, you got Stargazer's Crest right here. You got Mount of the Dead. Uh, so there's plenty of places to get thralls in the immediate area. Uh, I no longer have a uh, Wheel of Pain up here, but I used to. Uh, this is the start of my trail up to get... This trail leads up into the mountains there, where there's often Star Metal. And it's not a big location. Uh, it's an outpost. It's a little bit bigger than what it was when I first built it. Uh, come in here, you have your transporter stone. Of course, your basic kitchen and your basic furnace. You'll notice, other than that and the uh, dismantling bench, you'll notice that there's not a lot up here. That's because it's not meant to be a living quarters. That said, I do have NPCs up here and a bed for uh, protection. Because uh, while I was building, last time I was building up here, I had a purge up here. So I needed, and I've managed to survive it, but I've started keeping NPCs up here to be safe. Uh, this is my supplies for going out Godbreaker, which has great cold protection, explosive jars, because you have to blow the top off. Off of the outside layer off of the uh, star metal in order to mine it. But yeah, there's so much iron ore in the area that you can just use it to mine iron ore. If I didn't already have the location uh, down here in F4, F5. Th this area ha has probably more and is easier located so if all you're looking for is iron ore but there's so much uh, star metal to be had up here it spawns over here so regularly and now that I say that it's not going to come down that's fine uh, but yeah literally right there if you build right here you have uh, uh, was it star uh, stargazer's crest right there and the NPCs still spawn. So I highly recommend this area. And yeah, it's a little build. It's not a big build, but it's all you need for up here, especially now that you have the transport stones. You could probably get away with building less. Alright. So, that's that. I, did, I haven't done a lot of decorating up here, a little bit, just for shits and giggles someday I'll go through and I'll put like little bits and bobs all, all over here to make the place actually look lived in uh, but yeah that's it for this video uh, in the next video I'm going to start going through uh, different builds that I'm still working on uh, well no the next video is going to be uh, Moelo Skelos Scar uh, outpost um, see you then. Alright, I know I said in the previous video that this was going to be the next video, but the other video was short enough that I decided to combine the two, because this one's not going to be very long either. Uh, this is the Well of Skelos. Uh, I built this little place here uh, for farming the Well of Skelos, and originally it was supposed to be nothing more than uh, a place for me to store my gear and store the stuff I looted because you have to go through an extremely cold area in order to get here. So the first time I came through here I wore my cold area, uh, cold armor while carrying my hot weather armor and built this place as a place to store it and it was originally nothing more than that along with some food uh, and a respawn location. I've since turned it into a little thing, a full-fledged uh, outpost I guess for lack of any better way of putting it 
However, these days it's mostly unneeded because of the transport stall uh, system. So, right there is your well of Skelos for, uh, for farming purposes. And that trail right there leads you to the temple out by the frost giants over here. So, yeah. Next stop is going to be the reservoir. Which we are going to go ahead and pop to now. See your West Coldfish. So we come in here. Of, of course, we got my uh, teleport stone. Uh, this was originally built as a test build, just to see if this area was worth building in. Really? So, you come in here, you got these little rooms in here. I have no idea what I had originally built. I intended these rooms to be. Uh, it was just building to build. This was going to be originally full of uh, uh, your standard building equipment. You know, your blacksmith, uh, your, your uh, all your crafting tables, uh, all that stuff. With this being a living area up here. With your bedroom up here. You got, got your closet slash storage. And of course, balcony because I love my viewpoints. And I know it's a, not exactly a new game at this point, but I think it still looks good. I still enjoy some of these views. So if you're building for a... A view I think this place is totally worth it unfortunately the resources here are pretty weak and pretty limited so if you're building this as like a main base uh, you can expect long travel times to get your, the resources that you need it's whether or not that's worth it to you you know that's going to be a individual choice but that's going to uh, depend on entirely on how much you like to travel in the game but generally speaking as a main fortification probably not because there's not a whole lot in this area you got some thralls over here and over here that you can farm might help I hit the right button yeah and you're not that far from new Asgarth so for, as an outpost it's not a bad location but as a main base, I don't think I would recommend it. Right. And Ooh. that's that for this video. From here, we start getting into uh, works in progress. See you next time.